is it helpful for some or all of us to think of our life at, in chapters? So in other words, there's our, our, our education chapter, there's our work chapter, our family chapter per se with children, and then our retirement is another chapter. Is that too glib, Steve, or what? I'm I don't sorry. think so. It's, it's, it's hard to sometimes uh, uh, face that, re that reality. But, um, you know, one of the things I did in researching the book was um, I reached out to the residents of a retirement community in Southern California. It's called Leisure World, Seal Beach. Oh, I, 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 yes, I you know, know of it. Yeah. Thousands of people living there, uh, most of them retired. And I wrote a column for their community newspapers saying I was considering retirement. Did anybody have any good advice for me? Um, and so many of them weighed in with, with advice. And one of them said, um, this really struck me. He said, it's really important to think about how you're going to be spending the last quarter of your life. And I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> I know how old I am. I know the math. But I had never thought of it in terms of I'm in the last 25 percent. And, and for me, it was it was um, a reason to really give this some thought. I'm, I'm, I'm a person who you know, usually goes with my gut rather than thinking things through. Mm -hmm. And I thought well, on retirement, that's really an important consideration. I've got 25% of my life left. I really need to examine what I've done with the first 